Bows. 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 Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official, Miss Jamaica. Well, go on, you know, my dad. Hey, man. So, hey, man, we got a special guest today, man. And I know. I say it all the time. <laughs> you niggas, yeah. I say it every time. Yeah, but we serious today. Say, man, this guy right here, man, brought us all kind of sounds, man. And, you know, to be honest with you, man, the city, it, it's certain ones you think about when the movement was going on in the city. You know what I mean? Mm. Some of them, you know, you 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 seen them, and they did their thing. But this guy right here really did his thing, man. Check it, man. Duro Music is in the building. What up, Duro? What's up with it? Say, man, we glad to have you, man. See, now I can do podcasting. See, yeah, I thought yeah. I could do it. I got to wait till you get here, nigga. Uh, you know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. no, I feel you. I feel you. Say, right, we going to make it official. Say, you know? man, it's official now. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I've been talking trash, boy. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt like we needed a platform down there, man. Yeah. But I, I feel like we doing we doing the city justice. What you think? You been you been checking us out a little bit? Man, I got to see a few clips, to be honest with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, uh, I saw a few clips. And, and I'm I'm for anybody that's, that's really trying to put on for I the city. I see. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, if it's real, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, Especially if they, you know, trying to do it the right way. Yeah. You know what I'm Thank saying? You. Like, because the city need it. The city need multiple outlets. There's a lot of stuff going on in the city, but the city need multiple outlets. You yeah. feel me? So, yeah. you know, I saw, I, I could see that that's what y'all are, you know, Striving building for. and trying to build. You yeah. feel me? So, yeah. Thank you, know, you man. Uh, yeah, yeah. I respect man, that. I, no, no, man. Listen, man. Uh, we, we had, I got it like a year before mm -hmm. we started, mm -hmm. but then COVID hit. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. I was like, man, me and my co-host Money Moses, we was in here by ourselves. You know what I mean? Putting it together. Cause the store been here for like fourteen, going on fifteen mm -hmm, years. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, yeah. I was like, man, we gonna do a podcast, man. I say, and and it gotta be the best. You know, I'm an extremist. If it ain't good, hey, man, I, I she know how I am. It's all the way turned up, but we ain't doing it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. I feel you, so I, feel you. I just like, man, we gotta get this thing rolling. And a lot of people in Red Top, I love the people that done came through. Everybody that been so solid with, like, from the radio station, from uh, all all of our guests, man, Jay Cruz, Vita Loca. Uh, all the people that really, you know, I felt like, you know, they've been working in the city. To and try. representing I'm Dallas. trying to get Bebe. I've been working on him. I know that's yeah. your boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got you to get in his ear. Somebody say, when you get him on there, tell him to call. Hey, man, I got a lot to say today. I, so I don't want to go too fast. Let's talk about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to put Bebe on the spot. I was going to FaceTime. You know? There you go. Yeah, there you, you go. Gotta, you got to make Bebe commit right yeah, on, yeah, on the yeah, spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, that's, I, I, that's I, what I, I like. I'm going to try and get him. Yeah, this is how he be doing me, so I'm, I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can get me right on the spot. Like, like, yeah, once you, like, once once you commit to it, 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 it is done. That. Yeah. Man, I know y'all been here because a lot of people been getting at him. He go to a lot of places I go to. Yeah. He, yeah, when you get back to town, man, uh, I got some. I got some. I want. I want to do for you too. Yeah, you know, back. like yeah. a facial. We got touching skin. I told him already. Duro coming through there because they they did fit in. They did. They do baby. Baby go there. He going there. Matter of fact, I be knowing his business. He'll be going there. Uh, Friday. You can just say soon. You don't have to. No, tell no, him no. When Friday. Y'all want to catch him down there touching skin. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, tell baby. us, tell us. You from Lancaster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell I'm me. originally from Glendale, though, actually. Really? Yeah, Glendale Cliffs. We're 19 Get Adelaide. Get the hell yeah, out yeah. of here. We, we moved to Lancaster, uh, like, when I probably got, like, third grade, something For like real? that. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, out of, out of, out of stuff coming up, because I play ball, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah. everything I tied... Before rapping, everything that was tied to me was sports. You know what I'm okay. saying? And now that happened at Lancaster because Lancaster was the place at that time and even now mm -hmm. it was the place to go for hooping, football, football. and track. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and and you know I was gonna do basketball and track, but I ended up just doing basketball. And you know we that's was you yeah. good? Because a lot what, of niggas man, say they play ball. Listen, listen man, I I, <laughs> I don't know if y'all if y'all do your research, you'll see when it come to all these little celebrity games. I'm always killing. The last one I played when before COVID was. The two chain Snoop Dogg and LA Adidas. How you doing? I, I won MVP. Uh -uh. Really? Uh -uh. I, I mean, heard yeah. two chains can play. Yeah, but they can't play like me. Ah! <laughs> I had full scholarships. Like I really was a baller. You know so what I'm What about J Cole? I heard he been. I mean, he J like Cole, J, J, the other J. Day. Cole can ball. He, I heard he for the play in Africa on a, on the league. But honestly, oh, wow. honestly, look, I don't think homie can touch me. I seen him play. He can play. 
I play with I play with boys like Chris Brown. Yeah, you know what I heard, saying? Yeah. Like no, we, we play, he can we, ball. We play on the regular. He really can ball. Like okay. you know what I'm saying? He can play at a level that's a high level. And that's out of the music industry, them the type of people I hoop with. You yeah, got, yeah, yeah. You got a lot of rappers out here that look like they can hoop because they'll post some clips on the ground with them hits <laughs> oh, some I shots. See, I see Yella and Thomas <laughs> them nah, over nah, there them, shooting. They, <laughs> man, they ain't close to it. They ain't close. They not close to what I'm talking about. You know yeah, what I'm man. That's hot, though. I like the fact but, uh, that you confident, man. I, I can't wait. We got to do a celebrity one here in Dallas. Just one yeah, one. We can bring yeah, all, you know the, all, the, all of the ones, the, the, known, the known names, put them on their court. Let's yeah, see what they see got. What they see. Talking yeah, about. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can do that. You yeah, know? yeah. I'm a we done a, 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 a few in Dallas with the Boosie game. Boosie used to do a few of them. Uh, I, I did a few of them back in the day, but we ain't did none recently. You feel me? I ain't, I ain't not a, not a big one. You know what I'm saying? So okay, Let, let's I get to it, man. I want to know how you started. What made you get into the music? Just your, just give us a layout. But even before that, I want to know what was it like growing up with eleven siblings? Oh man! So they, they I'm the youngest, right. so they, they was our older. So only in the house. It was only probably at the most. It was only probably like four or five of us. How the much other younger? One was how much, how much younger the one before you? The next one to me. Yeah. Uh, three years older. Three years. And okay. And then, then you know it was like five, and then eight, like every three years. Every three. You know what I'm saying? But then once from my my sister, it just go up. Like you know what your I'm mama's saying? My, strong. My, yeah. Eleven kids. Yeah. So you know, uh, you know, I mean, I was the youngest, so it was a little different for me. You feel me? Like I was the one that uh. I was spoiled with the love, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I got yeah. the love from everybody. Did uh, everybody play sports? Uh, yeah, all my brothers. One of my brothers, uh, Armand, you know what I'm saying, he actually was on his way to the NFL before some stuff happened. You know, uh, he still mm -hmm. got one of the fastest track times in Texas, a 429. Oh, 29? Yeah, he's super fast. Yeah, he, went Texas Tech. he went to Texas Tech. Yeah, you know nigga, you can't do that. Yeah, so he went yeah I Tech. said it. Nigga, you talk yeah, all that talk. 429, yeah, yeah, yeah. nigga. Then, you know, my, all my brothers played. They played football. I was like the only one that really pursued ba basketball. Basketball. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, so that's, that's hot, man. Was. So, so cool. growing up, you you growing up, okay, when did the talent for the music, when did that kick in for you when you said the role for the do music? High school, you know what I'm High saying? School. High school, uh, I always had a love for music, you know what I'm saying? But I, I mean, as far as like, I remember being even before junior high, like being a little kid and I was always writing music. Like I would listen to the radio and then I would try, I would write the lyrics from the songs and then I would try and like make my own to the, to the song, same song, but I wasn't doing it from thinking like I wasn't trying to be a rapper. Yeah, that was yeah, just yeah. something I was just doing because I was just mostly into sports. Sports, yeah. But it went to like high school, maybe my sophomore year when uh I was really inspired to you know uh to to jump off the porch and rap. You feel me? And that was me being inspired by the Texas hip hop movement, the the, okay. the the stuff that was going on in Houston and even here in Dallas yeah. with the DSR mm -hmm. and yeah. all that. You know, what I'm saying that's when I was inspired because you get to see it in your in your backyard. So yeah. I, I jumped right out the right off the porch doing mixtapes and yeah i had success, success immediately as far as just at least what i felt you know uh i played ball and i was like the captain of the basketball team so i had a lot of influence so you know going through school when i dropped mixtapes i kind of already had fans people that was following me for sports they listened to it and it was already dope so that i had i built a quick following following my music just in high school amongst the people at the high school yeah you know what i'm saying and then uh that you know, we used to run out to the music at the basketball games and all that, you feel me? So I built my immediate first fan base from my high school, which was Lancaster High yeah, School. Yeah, 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 And then the whole surrounding areas. And then I went to... I think and Tom, I, Tom was from over there, yeah, too. Tom, Tom, yeah, Tom Tom, he from the L. You know, he from the L, Pleasant Grove. And that's where Tom from, between Lancaster Both and Both of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it, you know. And that, and I was inspired by Tom Tom. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, you said that. you know, seeing Tom Tom now do it is really what... Gave me the incentive because now it's really in my backyard. You know, it's yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. doable. You feel me? So sometimes you got to see when you see it happening around you, you 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 know that something is doable. You yeah, feel yeah. Me? And, and that's what happened with me when I was in high school. I, I got inspired by what they was doing, and then I just did my thing, and then I went to PV, and that's when I really well, that's when PV. Yeah, that's when I really made my rap career. Wasn't you know that other nigga down there the one that did that bone, that bone nigga? Everybody. So PV during the same time, bone. Yeah, yeah. He was down there. yeah. He the same same time. Uh, uh, the party boys, the hit the flicks. They yeah, was down yeah, there. yeah. Same time. Uh, Kirko Bangs down there. 
DJ Chose was down wow. there at the same time. That's, uh, that's a lot of talent. Superstar with the Holly Bear. We, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. We, we made the Holly original Holly Bear song. I remember song that. Yeah. yeah. PV. Yeah. So this was this was this was like a Motown at this time. PV was known. This was popping. Popping. What you know did what you major in when you graduated? Uh, business marketing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Okay. Business marketing was my major. Is that how you end up uh, messing with the Cowboys and all that? Uh, some I mean, stuff I, that you see. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, you just smart. Kinda, I just kinda, I already, yeah, I just kind of already had that in me. You feel me? It was mixed with the hustle, but I, I looked at PV more of a. Uh, once I found out what PV was, you know, I went. I went down there. My mama made me go to an orientation because I had. I was gonna go to St. Mary's in San Antonio on a basketball scholarship. Mm-hmm. I went to St. Mary's and I just didn't like the 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 atmosphere and just what it was. A Catholic mm-hmm. school. You feel me? Just mm-hmm. the only thing that would have been popping was basketball. You yeah. Know, so. You know, my mom had me go to an orientation down at PV, and I and I went, and I really wasn't in the mindset of, of even going to school if it weren't for hooping. And I knew I could have went to PV and hoop. I could have, you know what I'm saying, did that. But when I went down there, it was a whole other thing. The orientation was just popping. It was like 7 to 1. They was like, oh, it's, 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 the, the, the women-to-men ratio is 7 to 1, and that's yeah. all I needed to hear. And, <laughs> and I saw it. And then I, and, and, and on the first day of orientation, it was a party on the campus, and it was like a real party. So, like, they had the DJ and everything. I had mixtapes already, so I'm out there passing out mixtape. <laughs> you know, I, I even grabbed the mic, you feel me? So I turned right then immediately. I saw PV as a as a, as a, as a way, yeah, opportunity for the music, and I took advantage of it on the first day, and mm-hmm. literally mm-hmm. I, I built, like, a fan base straight th- right uh, then. Man, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing I can say about you, man, when I first heard you, man, I ain't going to lie, because I'm a music guy. You already been hearing me talk. I I love music. Your sound to me sounded like it could cross over. Yeah. Like immediately. Yeah. I'm being because Rihanna like that too. Yeah. Because certain people when I hear them rap or when I hear them sing, they automatically sound like they can cross over. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't yeah. got to work with you. Nothing. When I heard the ice cream paint job, I'm like this could go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I was experimenting. In my- I mean, have you ever heard that before? Uh, I mean, once I once I got into the game, I mean, yeah, because you weren't thinking about that at first. Because yeah, I didn't even realize, like even to this day, and especially when I first got in the game, when I was started traveling, when I first started traveling and going like Cali and New York and all this stuff, they would always talk about my accent. That's but, you right. You know, from Texas, we don't hear no accent Mm-mm. from nobody. We don't look at it like that. It's when you go out the outside. That's right. But uh, I used to experiment when I was doing mixtapes. Uh. On, on a lot of up tempo beats. Okay. And that during that time especially nobody was doing that. That's right. It was always slow. That's right. So you know that that kind of gave me a, a show did. that gave me like a different type of uh, approach with the music and it, and it changed my tone. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and I adapted to that and I started rapping on up tempo beats when nobody else was. Yeah. So like even ice cream paint job especially during that time 90 BPM was fast. That's right. For Texas music, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So like. I never. That's why I didn't think it would resonate and blow up like it did, and it didn't, and it ended up blowing up in Cali. Yeah, crazy Y'all, because, I know. because of that tempo, you know what I'm saying. And then it came back, but I was just working on a mixtape, and I was just like, I like this, but I don't think you know what I'm saying. Dallas or Texas gonna really Rock fuck with it. with it. Like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? yeah. And, and I mean, it ended up, it ended, actually Dallas did rock with it. You know what I'm saying? It mm-hmm. just, it, it just, it just took on a, on a life of its own. Plus, Man. I was, I still, I was grinding off the Holly Berry buzz and the yeah. walk that walk buzz. So it was just a lot of stuff in mixtapes, stuff that was happening at PV. I was killing PV. I was like that that guy, dude, yeah, you yeah, that yeah, guy PV. down there. And PV was just PV was. If you can make your stuff pop at PV, you out of there, and that, that's what it was at that time. And and because I had that on lock, I had all these different things going on that that made it. Once I dropped Ice Cream Paint Job, it just boom. It like my, I had MySpace popping. I was like the second biggest artist after Soldier Boy was number one. Yeah, I was like number twenty two or number three yeah. on MySpace in general. Yeah, and this before the concept of viral even existed. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't really know what that really meant, but that helped me a lot too because. When I put ice cream paint job on MySpace, it blew up from there. That's yeah. how I got the Cali. The DJ oh, came it was, and got it. Was it. Serious. So that's 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 when I started understanding what the internet was. But when I when I seen you uh when I seen you first uh come on the scene, you know, I got the old school. Mm. You know, I'm 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 the old school king. 
So I had a Chevelle when you did that. See, you, you pulled, it. y'all pulled the move on me. I don't know if that was baby car for real. I don't know if the nigga owned that car. I don't know. What from the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just got it. Yeah, yeah. Let me you talk know? about that. Let me okay. let me go because this nigga here <laughs> could get it right now. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'm old school cat, right? So I seen the car, and I don't know if he still got it or not. But I really want to get that nigga a challenge, nigga. The old school challenge, nigga. The ba- yeah. I got the blue Chevelle yeah, yeah, with yeah. the stripes. You know, we can mm-hmm. do the video again, nigga. I'll pay for it, nigga. You know. What I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, he still got it. He, he still, still got, got it. it. Matter of fact, I told Baby, I'm gonna I'm 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 get it from him. Just, no, 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 no. Okay. I, y'all do y'all thing. Then yeah. I'm gonna I'm 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 buy it from Baby. Okay, it's yeah, a, it's you a let a him token. know I'm looking for it. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, Baby, yeah. that's a shout out now. Uh, that you know I got it. Mm-hmm. You know it's in the garage, mm-hmm. and I'm serious about it, man. You know what I'm talking. about So I love that car, man. Yeah. So so how how y'all come up with that video? Who shot it? What was the concept? Doctor T, Doctor T, man. Shout out to Doctor T. You know what's crazy is. Ice cream paint job and walk that walk because we shot them at the same time. We shot them one day and the next day we shot the other one. The first, my first video ever was ice cream paint job, so I had never shot a video before. Mm -hmm. I had had a million mixtapes, a lot of music out, but never shot one video, so that was the first time. Dr. T came up with the concept, and I remember I was going to use, I had a Cadillac at the time. Uh, uh, and I was gonna use my Cadillac, and then I remember <laughs> Bebe called me, and then he he knew we was for to shoot the video, and I and, and he was like, man, you talking? I remember Zach come say, what did he like, say? He was like, uh, man, you talking about clean on the inside, cream on the inside, <laughs> clean on the outside? He was like, hey, I just got something out the shop, boom, boom. Anyway, oh, yeah. he sent me a pictures of the car, and I was just like, yeah, I gotta use this for the video. <laughs> it's killing my leg, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 so, Dr. T, that's a cut, this one. Yeah, it was a cutlass. Four forty two. It was a cutlass. Yeah, it was a cutlass. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, and Doctor Teetnum, you know, wrote it in the treatment. You know, so that's why I was like the valet in the video. Like I valet, oh, yeah, you killed. I valet Bebe car and took it for a uh, 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 spin. spin. And yeah, that was the concept of the video. Say, look we here, end up man. Doing all that. Anytime you talk about cars, man, baby, that's the challenge, man. We're gonna do the ice cream paint job challenge. All you got to do is pull up. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but go ahead. St- I know you got some Miss Official Jamaica. Let's go. Y'all been rolling. Oh, y'all I love been, this, man. Been, you know, I get, I get caught up in it, man, because I'm yeah. a music guy. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. I, I remember the movement, man. And I was just so proud of the city mm. for people to put eyes on us because you know how they shy back about the South. So yeah, there were yeah. certain things that made them respect us. And I feel like your movement was one of those movements. Yeah, because I love the way how you represented Dallas. Because when I came Heart. here and I started listening to music, you were one of the... I loved all of your songs. But it was... Nobody could mention your name without mentioning Dallas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what I loved about what you did. You represented, because a lot of people, they get big and they forget about where they're from. They just do their thing. Yeah, yeah. It was hard because I remember, you know, a lot of people that had came, people was it was associating people from Dallas or even when I first came, they was associating us with Houston so much that I mm-hmm. that's why I repped Dallas so hard. You did you know a good what I'm job. Saying? Yeah. And, that, and I made that like my 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 whole thing to be, you know, Dallas repped out because right. I wanted people to know the difference between Dallas, Dallas and, Houston. and Houston because they always was putting me in the Houston box and I and I rock with Houston. I stayed in Houston. No, no, I rock with them too. But. You know what I'm saying? But it was just, you know, Dallas is just a different place. So, it is. You know, I put it, I made sure I made it a, a part of my whole little mission to really, you know, put the city on. You well, know, Houston had time. enough fire and heat coming from that area <laughs> in it. They didn't need your help. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. They had it going exactly. on. That's when my boy, uh, all of them was living. Big Hawk mm-hmm. and all of them, everybody was when you first came out. Yeah, they were doing yeah, their they thing. Was, they had they were selling them too. You know, they sell a screw tape, yeah. and then they sell a regular. Uh, yeah. it, was, see, it was it was uh, actually CDs during that time. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and they had it. I was like, man, we killing them. I think of Texas, the whole thing, like we killing them. We double selling down here. They mm-hmm. they hitting me twice, so I know they hitting everybody else. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. So how hard it? Because you've been around from when mixtapes, CDs, all of that. How hard was it for you to transition from that stage of music to where we're at right now? Digital. I came, yeah. It's like my whole career been a transition. Like, as soon as I got in, it was ending of the CDs. The CDs. And, and it was going into the digital. The hardest time actually was from 2012 to 2016. Okay. You know, because that that's when it's really. So it was like I was used to, I was that rapper that was selling mixtapes out the trunk and or passing them out. I yeah. always had physical mixtapes. Mm-hmm. Mike Jones said the same thing. Yes, they and, were serious and, and so, about that time. So around this time, 2012 to 2016, it was kind of hard because it was tr- most people was getting on digital. You still had people on the CDs. I was I was moving around. This one I was now I'm moving around in Cali 
And if you weren't really going to like the hoods, people weren't on CDs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was kind of hard for me to like uh, get to my fan base like how it normally would. You know what I'm saying? So. I just learned the digital side. Yeah, I, I just learned the digital game at that point. And uh, I mean, I just focus on making the music and just yeah. getting better at my my craft. And it just it's just started coming back around. And I just learned the digital the digital side. Yeah, of because it, a lot of people don't know how oh, to it's transition. Hard on a lot and of that's people, why man. a lot of people. Die. You see it too, don't you? Because even like oh, yeah. some people who came on, they're like. That's why we're not on social media as much because we don't know how. They to don't know how. Yeah, that yeah. I'm on the phone with these cats. And some of these yeah, are big a, people. Who yeah, are nah, so high. I'm on the phone with these yeah, cats. Yeah, no, nah, it's a different. They, they two different worlds. Yeah. You feel me? And uh, I mean, luckily for me, like I, I always kind of just traveling helped me uh, uh, adapt to a lot of stuff. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I started traveling like even you know. During this time, you know, I was spending a lot of time on the West Coast. I was, you know, I stayed in New York for a little bit, stayed in Atlanta for a little bit, went to went to Japan. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying? I started traveling a lot. And as I was traveling, that's when I started really adapting to everything because, you know, I was seeing it from different angles. And mm -hmm. that's what helped me out personally. And I started meeting a lot of people that was helping me. Well, not necessarily helping me out, but, you know, just being around it, you get the influence. And that's how I learned a lot about how the digital did, side. How did, you, how did you end up collabing with... with the Cowboys like you did during that time. So, th 2013, I had a uh, I had a song called After Party that was big in LA. Uh, DJ Mustard produced it. Yeah, uh, shout yeah. out DJ Mustard. Yeah, and and I came back to Dallas, and uh, I forgot where I was, but like, oh, it was actually, it was actually through Instagram. It was a it was a fan that worked for the Cowboys, reached out to me and uh, you know, said, asked me could I make an anthem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did? For the Cowboys, mm -hmm. 2013. So that fan brought me in the door. Uh, actually, when that fan hit me up, I hit this dude up named Ben. Shout out to Ben. He went to PV with me and he went to Lancaster. You know, he was a little older than me, but uh, he, he I knew he had some type of attachment with the Cowboys. Okay. He worked with him. So when that fan hit me up, I hit him up and I told him what was going on. He brought me in. I made an anthem for the Cowboys. And and, and 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 they used it, you know, 2013. Wow. We shot it and everything, and that started the relationship. And then after that, I did it the next year, and then after that, we ended up – I didn't do the deal to 2016, you know what I'm saying? So that grew into them giving me, like, sweets to the games. And, you know, one time I was at a, at a suite in the game, and I met the head of marketing for the Cowboys. Wow. We got the, you know what I'm saying, chopping it up. And, you know what I'm saying, I kind of brought up the idea, like, hey, I've been doing these anthems. I think we can do something bigger, you feel me? He was yeah. like, what you got in mind? I was just like – Man, it's a lot. We can do a, a merch deal, and he was like, "Say no more." Three days later, I'm in the office. But you know, that's that business kicking. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that. That's that. That's that PV yeah. business. But how, so I pitched it. I but pitched how it. Long <laughs> before you actually pitched pitched it, that you were actually thinking about it. Well, once I started going to the games and I was getting them sweets, and you know, I was like, yeah, this this is bigger <laughs> this than right like, yeah, yeah, I, I, go. like, nah, I gotta make this bigger. Just doing the anthem, <laughs> that's cool. I like that. But I was like, nah, I gotta. So once I started getting them the sweets, I was just thinking about it. But it wasn't, I mean, once I brought it up a week later, I was signing the contract. You know, yeah, that's it crazy. Quick, you that's feel favor. Me? God will give yeah, you favor. Yeah, man. yeah. We signed the contract and I couldn't believe it because it had never been done before. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like, even to this day, nobody have done a deal with an NFL team, not a rapper. Oh, you know I know. What I'm so, that's what I'm saying. That's So heavy. I couldn't believe that it was happening like that. And, and, and uh, you know, we uh we got some stuff that's that's coming in line for this year. You know what I'm saying? That's so it just, it keep amplifying and you know, uh, it, can you talk uh, about those things? Uh, even just a little bit, just to get us. I can just talk about the music side of it right now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Say when it. I lock in the mother sit situation, then I talk about it. You know, I try, okay. I've been talking back and forth with Boss Man Fat that just came signed in. You know, he rap. He just he 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 just signed with. And him. he signed with the Cowboys. He signed with the Cowboys. Who, who, Second who, round, who? Boss Man Fat. Boss Look Man him up. Fat. Okay, he a rap, but he a, a he on the, he a, a corner or he a, a defensive end. I think he's corner. a corner. Corner, he a corner, but he okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know, yeah, I know. It'd be like you know the players be having some rappers. You yeah, know he be wanting sure. to get in there, but he was uh, in. I a, think it, Marcus Lawrence rapped too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember yeah, Beasley yeah. was rapping before he left too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, actually, Cole B. Actually, he was nice. I, yeah, From, did, yeah, he hey. was nice actually. Like I heard a few. I actually heard some. I actually heard him him on I think it was on a Sway show. Yeah. Like he really went into it. Like he really took the hip hop and went and him and uh like Damian Lillard, they really did stuff in the hip hop world of like 
make them a little more, you know, more than just a, 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 a athlete that was rapping. Yeah. You feel me? Cole Beasy, he was actually nice. You know what I'm saying? Man, like, check from out, what I heard. You check feel out me? Boss Man Fat. Yeah, I'm yeah, telling no, you. I, you know, I definitely check, check it out. Check him out. Because yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, nigga, I got the road coming over today, boy. Look, you better, when you get to Dallas, uh-huh. if you ain't in Dallas, you better come through. He like, I'm coming through, bet. So I, I say we can talk about the music or we can talk about football. It don't matter to me because I had uh, uh, what's it? oh Jock Taylor Jock was just Taylor. on there too. Okay. Yeah, I be having. Okay. I be. It don't matter yeah, to me. I go either talk way. About rap. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever Everything. you want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, that's 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 dope. You know, huh? That's why y'all call it boss talk. Boss yeah. talk one on one. That's why you had to be here. We yeah. try to help people because there's so many people whether want to be in your shoe, whether want to be on the business end, or want to hear about like something that you've been through mentally, yeah. mm-hmm. physically, and they're going through that, so they want to know how to overcome this, the situation that they're in. Fact, so we yeah. use fact, this platform fact. to help people, really. Yeah. That's yeah. Behind the microphone, a lot of things start to happen, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And people see you, and they hear you, and therapeutically, we feel like some young cat out there might hear something you say, it may, you know, because they didn't have these platforms like this before. Right. You yeah, know, the nah, radio counter, the radio ain't as, nah, it, nah. It, it ain't like that no more. So nah. this thing is transitioning like that as well. Exactly. Just like Just like the music did back in the day. Exactly. Now, now the radio waves is, Mostly podcasts is just taking over the scene. And mm-hmm. people, when they come to cities, they're looking for different bloggers and podcasts and stuff they can get in so they can really understand what's going on, Facts. you know, as far as in the inner city. Right. So so I, I think, you know, we had, I don't know if you know, uh, what was his name? Southern Fried Marketing was on here the other day. We have BC? a lot of, yeah, yeah. BC yeah. was just yeah, on BC. here. Yeah, 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 he just was here. Like, yeah. we're getting a lot of good people through here like yourself, you know. And I feel like this the one for the city, man. I think we're I think we doing the city justice, and we're going to keep grinding. You know, I'm a hustler, so you're going to see them video. I put out more footage than anybody. You know? Every day. That's what's up. Man. Every That's damn day. You're going to see what my boy get on yeah, every day. So my, day. Question, my next question to you, I see you have that 6'3". Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the new name. Yeah, where let's did, go. Where new. did that name come from? What's the inspiration behind that, and what does so, it represent? So 6'3 is, uh, I mean, if, I guess the best way to look at it from y'all perspective. Is that how tall the, you are? I'm 6'3". Uh, <laughs> they, they, they call me that when I play ball, just on some okay. nickname stuff. And I've been using it in... It been probably since man for like the last almost eight nine years. It been in like mixtapes. It been on the rap. I yeah. just never officially used it. You know what I'm saying? Now it, it's more like a um. It, it will be like six three is signed to Duro. It's like another artist. You feel wow. me? Not necessarily. Uh, you can call it an alter ego, but I wouldn't say that. You feel me? Because it's an official brand. I'm the only rapper in the world with a with two brands that's official though as far as like you can go to Spotify right now yeah. and Apple Music and Tidal and I got a 6-3 page and I got a Darrell Music page damn it ain't you know what I'm saying literally see I thought it was so you cause got, a lot of people be switching their names and just changing nah, their names nah, nah, it ain't, so it ain't like, it ain't like, like Titty Boy 2 chains like, it ain't like that t- t- you know when he changed cause that's what people compare right. it to and yeah. that, it's not necessarily that because he, he changed I, I personally think he had the he couldn't use oh, he, t- he couldn't use that. Titty Boy commercially. Yeah, I think that's and then he went and then turned up with it and you know he did a great job. Mine, I'm my, I'm keeping Duro music. Matter of fact, I got two singles out right now. One of them a six three record. One of them a Duro wow. music record. And they and they just different. You know, I'm going different directions with them. You know, long story short, to make it easier for the the you know the listener is right now to make it easy. It's like six three will kind of be more the turn up music, the, the bangers. You feel me? Duro is more. More of the substantial, more of the brand. It's more of the Texas shit. It's more of the, the. It's more of the me, the 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 the, the me, the who I am as a person, the family man. You know, I'm a father. You know what I'm saying? The business side of oh, it, the stuff ready? I'm doing with the cowboy. That's yeah. more who the row is. Yeah. You feel me? The row more like this right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 the yeah, podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This more in six three more the rapper. You feel me? Okay. Like, so that would be kind of a way to put it, but it's even it's broader than that. As the music come out and the visuals come out, that's what's going to explain it more. So who you know was the saying? one that did the rings the other day on the, and had the rings? That's six three. Okay, and I'm the, trying. To- when, I, when, I, when I throw all the jewelry on and and, and, and do all the flat, when, whenever I get in that mode, that's more like the six three shit. That's hot. When I'm more like laid back, like now, and I'm just you know what I'm saying casual. That's, that's the road. That's the road. You know what I'm saying? But everybody has that in them. Everybody facts. have that part that is facts. like when you want to dress up party and show out whatever. And yeah. Everybody had it, and I'm showing but people how to express it. Everybody don't know how to right. capitalize and market it in a yeah. way that they can get paid for it. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm doing different deals with them. Like a six three show is a different price from a Duro show. I, I literally wow. got two. I literally got two from the new to two albums that I'm coming out with this year. It's two different deals with that's two a, different that's labels. It. That's Who's it. more One expensive? Of, you know what I'm saying? Right now, right, right now, the, the, right now, the road a bigger brand. Obviously, six oh, three brand right. new. I'm building yeah, it. So yeah, he, yeah. he the one. 
to get the Duro, that's a that's a different price. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right now, six three. You yeah, know, he's yeah. showing so I love. can give you six three, but I can't get if you can't afford Duro, you can get six. Yeah, right but now. by the end of this year, it might be flipped. You know what I'm saying? Because I got. <laughs> you know, I, yeah, it's, it's it's a lot going on right now. I, just, uh, I like yeah. the way you. I I, I, like I, I always think about the things that I wouldn't have thought about the artists when they get here. The mar the brand, I didn't. You know, you would have thought it was somebody really pushing behind. I'm not saying he don't have a team. But just talking to you, I can tell that you do a lot of stuff and oh, think yeah, no, a lot I'm, of things yeah, through. Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm always, I push out my ideals and everything out to my team. It all start with me, like, because it, it, I can't be managed. I'm like, some people, I, I, can, I, I can be managed, but it, it have to be, like, I have to put everything on the table, and then the manager got to grab it and manage it. Wow. Instead, like, because everything come from, from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to explain. No, 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 you feel I me? see like, it. No, I, I, I see look at it. artists like Hove and certain artists like maybe like a Rick Ross. Maybe yeah. like they can't really be managed. They gotta manage exactly. themselves. But then they, but they gotta have a team. Yes, you get what I'm saying. So it, it's just certain. That's more like how I am. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You know, and I and I've had you know management. I even have a you know management team now. I have a manage, manager, but it's different. It's more like a team. I don't really. Look at my uh, situation like that. Look I at like, like the way you okay, explain so it. No, I, I like the way you explain it because I love the way how you explain yeah. it. But my question is, okay, you have a management team and you've been doing this business a long time. How many management teams have you had during your time? So when I came out uh, to the world, I had one manager, Mike Moose Swing, uh, from 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 '09 to probably like uh, 2013. Uh, then I had. Um, I've only then I had a I've only had probably two or three official managers. You know, but what a saying? team, the team because now you know, the team so, is different. Right. So like because it's hard to find good people, and I'm trying yeah. to see how many people you had to really go yeah, through before you found. Uh, I've, I've, I've had different. So when I was at PV, my team was my homies, which right. was the prime time click. That's where they come yeah, from. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was my, yeah, that was yeah, my yeah, group. Boy, you hell, yeah, yeah, I brought back memories. Yeah, yeah, prime time <laughs> click. That was my homies. That was just my friends. Yeah. You know what I mean, they rapped. And we was out of the team, and you know I used to just come and make the play, and we ran the play. So yeah. that was that was my initial. And I had a DJ say I came in the game with a DJ, DJ Merck. Yeah, he was yeah. kind of like really my first manager, but he was my DJ. So I wanted him to be branded as a DJ. So I was just like, hey, we should focus on the DJ side. And he was the CEO, of this and that. He got out the game, uh, you know, some years after you know everything happened, but. He was, I came in with a DJ, so my, my homies and my DJ was all I really needed at the time. We we were, we were so savvy with how we marketed and did stuff. Then we went to PV, so we kind of like learned a lot of stuff at PV. You know, what I'm saying not necessarily from the school side of it, but from the social side of it. So we just learned how to do everything we need to do ourselves. And that lasted for a long time. And then at, over the years, you know, I tapped in with different people. And, you know, I didn't, you know, I get like a PR here for a time. You know what I'm saying? And, and now I got like, I probably got a handful of people mm -hmm. that just, done, you know, that are stuck around. And, and that handful of people is pretty much all I really need. You know right, what I'm saying? Because you I, need people to know you. So when you say certain things, you don't have to go into too much yeah, detail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They you already know what I'm saying? Exactly I, yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know I'm saying? I got, a, you know, I got a couple of my day ones around. And then I got a couple of new, new energy people around. So I just balance it out. You feel me? But at the end of the day, it's still st stem from. What I'm doing, my music, my my vision, my passion, all that stuff. So it's still a lot of weight has always been on me. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. it but always it always been that way. You feel me? Going back to your awards, um, in 2009 when you were nominated for the BET Awards, mm -hmm. um, that was your first nomination, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. How yeah. did that feel when you got the news about that? Man, I, I mean, I had got the news about three of them, and that was big because it was three of them. Right. And then yeah. I also performed that year on the yeah, awards. Yeah. So I was more I was more happy about the performance, oh, yeah. But the you know when I when I end up watching the because I didn't watch the performance I mean the show until maybe like a week later, right? Because I was moving around somewhere. But when I saw it and then you know it was just coming on, it was showing the different nominations and who I was in with. I was just like, man, that's when it hit me with the nominations. Yeah. But you know I was just happy to be nominated. You feel me? One and but I was more happy to perform. You feel yeah. me? Because uh, the performance wasn't guaranteed at first. You know they they. You know they want the record was growing right before the show, and they was just, they they was like, well, we got to have them on to perform. And yeah. I actually was nominated before I was told about the performance, mm. so I was happy about the nominations. But when they told me I was performing, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't even thinking about the nomination yeah. no more. Yeah. So do you? Um, so how do you like uh, what's going on with Dallas now? Like the. 
the whole the movement, scene. yeah, like Post Malone and yeah. all the different people, you know, that's 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 kind of channeling in. And really, really, he's the one that kind of yeah, yeah, he's really the one that kind of you know you you a part of what made it happen. Yeah, Believe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you you uh, you, I mean, you, you know, the reason for the season, baby. Yeah, you know it's been an expansion. You feel me? Uh, you know, uh, I'm I'm glad to see the city grow and continue to grow in different type of counterparts coming to the city because when I first came out it was like a lot on my back for a I long know. time so I'm glad to see different people done came and and, and and took it in different places so now as I'm stepping back in it was well, never really left but as I'm coming to that conscious of okay you know what I'm saying this is these the counterparts in the city they doing what they do it makes it it actually makes it easier for, for me now you know what yeah. I'm saying because it was just so much pressure you know what I'm saying 10 years ago because it was just like I was pretty much the face of Dallas for a long period of time, but I didn't have other counterparts nationally to help paint the vision. You know what I'm saying? Now a lot of people came and painted it, you know, the city in different different ways. They came, and that makes it easier for anybody coming out of the city. Yeah. It makes it easier for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Even platforms like this, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, oh, that's good stuff. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I'm happy to see that, you know? Well, yeah, and like I, I know said, it's still got a lot to grow. Oh, no, it got know? a lot to grow. And, and like Appreciate I said, it. I know when I when I reached out to you, you 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 got right back with me. It's the ones like you that I ain't never going to forget, and I'm going to always be, you know, like, man, you, you can tell, you know, the ones who really want to see the city. When you can reach out and you reaching out from the heart, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because you want to, you doing it to bridge gaps and make sure people know Dallas got something special going on, you know, I always remember that, and I appreciate it, man, you know. Wow. So how do you stay humble during all of this time? In the beginning when all of this was going on, it must have been so new to you. Yeah. And all the fame yeah. and fortune. How did you stay humble during all of that time? Man, family, kids, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I had a little girl at the time. I had a, a newborn. I had a little girl when I first came in the game, man. That that humbled me a lot because I knew I had responsibility. And, and, I, and like I said, I come from a big family. Mm -hmm. You know, anytime you attach, and we from here, we from Dallas, which is a city. I mean, this is the South. It's just different. Like, so I'm, I was, I'm grinding through my associations. You feel me? That that really kept me grinding from the jump. But uh, uh, I mean, but when I first came in, I wasn't like the average rapper. That when you when you first came in, you saw it as like. I'm here now and, and I made it. I, I knew it was a, I saw it as a journey. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From the jump. Even when I, I had the number one record in the, in the country and I don't want all that, but I, I knew that was the beginning of this journey. You feel me? So where most people actually in any, even in sports, they see it as, oh, this, a, and you can see it either way. It don't really, it, neither one of them is wrong or right. It just, I knew that it was a journey from the jump. And because of that, that kept me hum humble mm -hmm. because I'm thinking about like how far I want to take this for the whole career and lifetime you know what i'm saying i'm thinking like big i'm thinking like when you you know what i'm saying when you're talking about you know what i'm saying the moguls you feel me so i know it's a lot of stuff in between that and that's how i was thinking even then so that kept me humble that's i just good. knew that you know okay i'm in a good spot i'm in it i was happy and mm -hmm. i embraced it don't get me wrong you know what i'm saying and celebrated it when i was supposed to celebrate it but i was never in a position where like oh even even at 21 coming in again i was never like I made it I never felt that You know what I'm saying I knew that it was just The beginning of the journey And when you know That's the beginning of the journey You, you, know, can't, you, can't, yeah, you, you can't help but to be humble You know what I'm saying yeah. It's the difference between The NBA player That becomes a LeBron James Russell Westbrook James Harden Like versus the player That get in And they just mm -hmm. feel like Oh I made it to the NBA when, when people like James Harden And LeBron James And Kobe And Jordan come in the game, they know it's a journey. They trying to be who they became. And that what that LeBron James is just now coming into his celebration mode and he's still dominating the league, but he knew it was a journey. So I, I'm pretty sure he didn't feel like, you know, I'm pretty sure the same year he came in, it, it's probably a hundred other rookies that's out there, that's out, not even the NBA right now. Mm -hmm. And they felt like they made it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Which they did. But you just see it different when you got a bigger vision. You then know I see Mark Cuban in your video one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How y'all do that? How, how you make that happen? So I was with Yums at the time. Uh, yeah, shout out to Yums. Them niggas yeah. trying to say, yeah, yeah, white boy, what that white boy name I always miss? Ken, 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 Ken and JR. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Shout, yeah shout they're out always to, at the magic. Mm, yeah, you yeah. see, every time I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. they come with them shoes, man. And then Soldier Boy did something with yeah, them, too. You Soldier and Boy came before me, then Tom Tom did something with him, and then yeah. they signed me on a deal. And you know what I'm saying? We did a deal. And when I did the deal, 
Ken and Jr. They had the relationship with Mark Cuban. They introduced me. Wow. And then you know, what I'm saying? Mark Cuban had never been in a rap video, and I was just like, hey, we should you put get that him boy in there. <laughs> put him in there. You know, boy, it was all the news and everything. That's so, what yeah, we yeah, needed yeah. that I, one. Yeah, I, I yeah. mean, I, I was just like, we should get. Uh, it only makes sense because all y'all represent Dallas. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. rap music, sense. that hip hop. Yeah, we yeah. we trying to these entrepreneurs. They this this we taking over right there. See the entrepreneur thing came yeah. real strong through our brothers, and I seen that. So when I seen the the whole you know the momentum steadily growing in the in in the hip hop industry, I'm looking at money. I'm a hustler. I'm looking at oh yeah yeah we get into the bag. See, a lot of times people didn't look at it. They were like, oh, that's music. You know, the older folks, they didn't really know what was going on. But right. I seen entrepreneurship. So let me so may, let me ask you one last question. Yeah. Okay. Give me your top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Bam. Any genre. My, my top three? Top Bam. three. Bam. Oh, oh, any genre? Any, oh, any, oh, that any genre. It. Of Bam. course that changes. Okay, so number one is Sade. Sade, okay. oh, number see, one. easy. Yeah, that boy didn't even know who Sade was until two or three weeks uh, ago. By, by far. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Sade, Sade, like, if you talking about artistry, yes. by Sade. far she number one okay. to me. That's you know hot. I'm saying? We've had a Sade before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who did um, it? I don't remember. I remember. It, it's kind of hard to do this for any genre because it's yeah, so yeah, wild. Yeah, yeah, that's why we do it that like, way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean. Number two? Two, I'm, if I'm going to use a rapper. Man, that's hard because <laughs> See, I came, in, I, hard, I came hard in, in three. My, yeah, three my first hard. influences to hip hop and rap in general that I that I fell in love with as a kid was Bone Thug and Tupac. Okay, that was my introduction to hip hop that I actually like. Okay, I did. Okay, I, I fuck with hip hop. Oh, uh, number two. Damn, man, that's hard. <laughs> it's hard. I love I gotta, this part. Uh, I probably would say. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to just give it if I'm being un honest, honest. Be honest. 100%. This yo is ears. Your, this, this is your, your top option. three. Yo your top ears. Three. What it hurt? Number three. Uh, number two. Number one. Number two is what? Sade was one. I'm gonna have to give it the hove. Okay. Okay. I, I, the, the reason why I'm giving it the hove because I didn't even like hove when I was little at all. I didn't like hove until I got old, grown. Wow. But this is why because of not just the music side, it's just the overall. The business, The everything. overall, this and that. And I, Cause I could go so many directions with the music on rap. I, I would have to go. It's hard for me to. I love Bone Thugs. That's a group. Tupac definitely. You know what I'm saying? Uh, number man, number I, three. I, I like the UGK. So yeah, like it's hard, hard for me to UGK. do. See, I have to do a rap in this. No, but let's no, just no. say. Let me number three. Who is that? Number three if out of all genres, um, I, I have to go. Right. I got to get somebody. It can be from, anybody. I got to get somebody from the old school. Somebody that your ears heard and it changed your life. Number three. Probably you heard it, you like, dang, that's it for me. My pops used to listen to a lot of Al Green. Oh, that's a bad boy right and there. That, and that that gave me a whole different. That's temperament. a bad boy right there. We ain't got no you Al Green. Saying, a different temperament. You niggas don't what, know. You never like listen you listen to, listen to it. Yeah, 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 a lot. Cause my pops used to listen to it a lot. Man, that Al Green. And, yeah. and, and you, it you know, I my listen to it. Of how I listen to music. I really associated him with the whole old school genre. Even that nigga though was bad. It's a lot of people came before him and after him, but some about him made me associate all that with him. God so, bless you know, our love. The only thing I remember man. about Al Green and God people talk about him. God bless our love. Isn't Al Green the one that they threw the grits yeah, on? Yeah, he was, but don't worry about that. That old girl was wrong That's for that. That's what y'all told me. She was wrong for that. Okay. Yeah. So, hey, man, we thank you for coming on the show. This has been a great segment of Boss Talk 101. Uh-huh. And we out.